Hi everyone, and here's a devotional for Monday, November 4th, 2019. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away, and look, new things have come. 2 Corinthians 5.17, HCSB. My son Pierce's first Florida basketball season was wonderful. The coach was a longtime resident and former local star, a seasoned pro who skillfully affirmed the kids, bringing out their best. He and Pierce built a nice rapport, and we looked forward to having the same coach next season. But when the draft came around, Pierce was picked by another coach who was just plain different than his beloved first coach. Seeing Pierce's disappointment, I tried hard to conceal my own, urging him to keep an open mind and reminding him that he'd have a lot of different coaches over time. Still, Pierce was sad and anxious about the change. As the season went on, I made a point to avoid the subject, not wanting to pick a scab. Finally, a few weeks into the season, I asked Pierce how the new coach was working out. Oh, he is so great, he said with sincere enthusiasm. He's just really nice and has taught me so much. He went on and on about his new coach's outstanding qualities and impact. Indeed, the team gelled and made it to the championship game, losing only by a few points to the reigning champions. As awesome as, as his former coach was, Pierce's new coach was an even better fit. Kids deliver so many lessons. How often have I dreaded a last season loss and dreaded the new season only to find the new season was better than ever? Can I trust that Jesus knows best with matters of great importance? Yes. Isabella Yosuiko, Y-O-S-U-I-C-O. Faith step. Oh, okay, I said that last one wrong. It was not Jordan Faith. It was whoever Jordan, and this is called a faith step. Okay, I'm learning. Are you facing a disappointing change to the unfamiliar and unexpected? Thank God for last season and trust God with your new season. In Christ, the new has come. Um, I'm, I'm silently saying ouch here. <laughs> um, wow, that, that's really good stuff. I told you guys about, you know, last week about how um, God taught me what it means when he says no. And sometimes when he says no... Um, it's because he has something better in store for us. Sometimes he needs to teach us about something that that we are doing very, very wrong. It's part of our character that's definitely not good, and he wants us to deal with that thing and get it out of there. He can get it out of there as long as we ask him to and help us to do it. Um, sometimes, yeah, God brings different things into our lives, things that, you know, we're like, oh, you know, I didn't want that or whatever, but it ends up being way better than what we thought we wanted. Praise God. Isn't that awesome? Lord, help us to trust you when that happens. Thank you, Jesus. And may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.